What's going on, y'all? Gamers going back today with your NFL predictions for week three. And we are 17 for 15 on the season. I believe that means we had 10 uh, correct last or last week. Uh, we got 87 points last week, so we're at a total of 157 for this week. But we're starting it off on Thursday Night Football. We got the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Football Giants going at it in San Francisco. But you might be looking at me and like, well, the Giants, they figured it out a way to win against Arizona. They went down in the season to start 60 to nothing. 60 to nothing is how the Giants started the season. I'm going to go off on a limb and say the 49ers win. 16 confidence points on the 49ers. They're a great football team. The Giants, I think they'll figure it out eventually, but they're not playing the 49ers at the right time, especially when the Giants are struggling like they have been. Granted, they did pick up the win against the Cardinals. But I don't think that they're going to beat the 49ers. Got a lot of confidence in that. Then we get to the Tennessee Titans going to Cleveland to play the Browns. There is no Nick Chubb in this game. Hopefully, he has a speedy and quick recovery. Uh, hopefully, he gets back to full health. You never like to see injuries like that happen. But Nick Chubb is going to be is going to be out for the season. So that's that's never a good sign for any team. You don't want to see that happen. Um, so hopefully. Nick Chubb goes out there and really um, is able to get back to his full strength and be what he what he was prior to the unfortunate injury that happened um, this past week. With the Browns, though, it's going to be interesting. They just picked up Kareem Hunt, um, but their their lead back still, I believe, is Jerome Ford, uh, big fantasy waiver guy. Um, this week um, was in a couple battles with people to to bid my way into getting his services for my fantasy team. Wasn't able to get him. Wasn't able to get him. Um, but Titans, Browns, it's going to be interesting. No Nick Chubb. It's going to be a tough time to say that the Browns should win this game. Um, I think going into it, I would have said the Browns if they had Nick Chubb, but now it's a little bit a little bit less, less, less obvious. I'm going to go with the Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans. It's going to be a risky pick. I'm getting two confidence points on it. The Browns, you don't like seeing something like that happen, especially to your star running back. Um, so hopefully they are able to bounce back following the Nick Chubb injury. Um, but I think the Titans will win this one. Falcons travel to Detroit to play against the Detroit Lions. I think Detroit is going to be great. I think they're going to be great. They're a good team. They're doing their thing. I think Detroit's going to be good. Falcons, on the other hand, I know they've started the season off well. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. You don't got me sitting here. Yeah, they got something to them. I just don't really, I don't see it with the Falcons. I don't feel it with the Falcons. Detroit, I think they got the right coach. I think they got a quarterback that can lead them the way, not necessarily to win a Super Bowl or anything like that, but to make a playoff. I think they got two really good running backs in David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. I think they got a legitimate defense. Detroit should have no problem winning this game. So I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions. I'm going to put eight confidence points on them. We get New Orleans going to Green Bay. Green Bay has been impressive. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it real. I'm a Bears fan. Y'all know that. Green Bay's been impressive. They've been pretty impressive. New Orleans, they're going to be a team that's going to give Green Bay a good run for their money. You got Mike Thomas. You got Chris Olave. You got two guys that are really talented receivers. It's going to test the Packers secondary. But at the end of the day, I think I think I got to go I got to go with Green Bay. I think they're going to win. I think they're going to win. I'm going to put six confidence six confidence points on it. Um, but we're going to go up with Green Bay. Don't like doing it, but I think they'll win. Denver going to Miami. This is the, one of the easiest of the weekend. 15 confidence points on the Dolphins. Russell Wilson had a good week last week. I don't think it is going to be this. Well, he might have a good week this week. I don't really know. Um, but I think Tyreek Hill is going to have a good game. I think two is going to look good. I think this is just going to be a Dolphins victory. Let's be honest. I think the Dolphins or a team that should be pushing, um, not only for the playoffs, but a deep run in the playoffs. I think they have a lot of talent on that team. Chargers, Minnesota. 
Chargers, what are we doing? What are we doing, Chargers? Haven't looked nearly as great as I had hoped they'd had this season. Austin Eckler, he's questionable heading into this game, but I still think the Chargers win. Vikings, they're okay, but kind of predictable. Kind of predictable. Stop Justin Jefferson and try to avoid a big play to Jordan Addison, and you should win the game. I'm going to go four confidence points. Chargers haven't looked great this season. I think they should still beat the Vikings, though. Patriots versus the Jets. Patriots, they had a chance last week. They had a chance last week to, to figure it out and win. They, di they didn't. They weren't able to. The Jets, obviously, Zach Wilson played a full game off after the Aaron Rodgers injury week one. Once again, hopefully he's having a good recovery. Um, but the Jets, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. You, you didn't use Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook last week in a game that you probably could have. You probably could have. Let's go to last week for the Jets. They lost 30 to 10. Um let's where here's there. Against the Cowboys. The Jets Brees Hall four carries. Four carries. Dalvin Cook four carries. A combined eight carries from their running backs. Eight carries. You got to use your running backs, and if you're not, then the Patriots win this game. I'm going with the Patriots. I'm putting seven confidence points on the Patriots. Bills versus Washington. The Bills. The Bills. What What are we doing, Buffalo? Buffalo. Let's be honest here. You go in last week to the Raiders, and you dominate, right? 38-10. to 10. But week one, you go in, and you don't do anything against a Jets team that looked bad. What are we doing, Buffalo? Buffalo, you got to win this game. Don't think the Jets' loss is a good loss. I don't. I think that's a really bad loss. Bills, you guys got to do it. You got to do it again. Raiders, an average team. Commanders, an average team. You got to do another similar type of victory. 14 confidence points on the Bills. Texans going to Jacksonville. And I think everybody should be picking the Jaguars. The Jaguars have been a fun team and a good team to watch um they obviously were not able to get the job done against kansas city last week 17 to 9 but you can see with 17 points only to patrick mahomes that's a pretty solid defense you got there and this is gonna be a fun battle because it's two solid defenses i'm going five confidence points texans defense looks good jaguars defense looks good i think it's gonna be a fun game colts go to the ravens in baltimore don't know if um, I don't know if, um, the quarterback there for the, why is his name Anthony Richardson? My, my, I got him in a fantasy league and I wanted to say Allen Robinson. I was sitting there, that ain't it. It's Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson going to be questionable in this game. I believe he is, um, still questionable. He was questionable last time I checked. Um, but the Ravens should still win this game. Colts. Exciting, fun team. Josh Downs looks good. Uh, when Richardson is healthy, he's been pretty good. He had two touchdowns last week um, on the ground. Uh, but I think this is going to be a fun game if Richardson plays. If not, we don't know. Um, it'll be Gardner Minshew, I believe, leading the team out there. So we'll see. But the Ravens, doesn't matter if it's Minshew. doesn't matter if it's Richardson. doesn't matter who it is out there for the Colts. I think the Ravens win. 10 confidence points on the Ravens. Next, we got the Panthers going to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Seahawks, I think they are a solid team. Panthers, on the other hand, I need them to lose. I need them to lose because I got the Bears. Uh, the Bears have their pick. And that means, Seahawks, you better win. I'm putting a lot of confidence in you to win, Seahawks. 13 confidence points in the Seahawks. Panthers... You'd hope to see a victory here soon. You'd hope to see some some good play from your rookie QB. Bryce Young hasn't came yet. Hopefully, you'll start to see it soon. I I know how it feels not knowing if your quarterback's good. I've been a Bears fan my whole life, so don't don't think I'm wishing Bryce Young failure in the NFL. He can have a great year. I just want the Panthers to have a horrible year. They could score 40 points a game. I just hope they give up 42 points a game because I want the Bears to have the best pick possible. So hopefully 
um, the Seahawks do win that game. Chicago versus Kansas City. I would love to sit here and tell you my Chicago Bears will figure it out. Earlier today, there was some not, the, some news and rumors coming out that uh, Justin Fields said that something about the coaching staff. They they're asking about like what what do you think's not working? He's like, I feel robotic playing here. And they asked like what what what, what part of it? It's probably the coaching. And then he and then he er, later today said. Well, that's not what I meant by that. They're just trying to create problems within our team. I'm going to put it this way. I don't care who said what, what was said when it came to Justin Fields calling out the coaching staff. I don't care if he meant that it was the staff's fault or not. Something has to change in Chicago. He said he wants to go back to the way he used to play football, then do it. Let's go out there and play like Justin Fields. Let's not go out there and play whatever we've been playing the last two weeks. He said he wanted to go out there and say F it. Yeah, go out there and say F it and play your style of football. I'm about sick and tired of whatever we've seen the last two weeks. It's only been two weeks, and you guys are almost giving me gray hair already. It's going to be a long season if this is what the offense is going to be. Go out there and do what Justin Fields is good at. Regardless if Justin Fields is good at anything, when it comes to the quarterback position, I think the Chiefs got the edge. Even if Justin Fields is reverting to the Justin Fields of old that we saw at Ohio State, the the good Justin Fields that we all want to see. We have all seen flashes of in the NFL, and we've yet to see a flash of this season because it seems like they're kind of holding him back. It's time. It's time to unleash Justin Fields. But regardless of if Justin Fields is unleashed for this game or not, I think Patrick Mahomes is going to be a tricky guy for us to defend. Allen Williams already out. He um, he resigned from the position for personal reasons. Hopefully all is well with Allen Williams. We, we have that going on. I believe Eberflus will probably call this game as well. Uh, you got all the information about what did Fields mean by what he said. Is he upset at the coaching staff? Is the coaching staff having him do something he's not comfortable with? There's just too much of a narrative and too much going around in Chicago to really say that Chicago's going to win the game. The Chiefs, 11 points on them. I hate doing it, but it's going to happen. It's it's inevitable. Cowboys versus Cardinals. I don't even need to really talk about it. I'm just going to say 12 confidence points on the Cowboys. We've all seen how good the Cowboys have been. Let's be honest. The Cowboys have been good this season. How about them Cowboys? They might actually have something. And then they'll come to the playoffs and they'll lose. But hey, I think they have one of the best, if not the best, pass rusher in the NFL, Micah Parsons. So you got that going for you. Um, You also got a really good team this season. (laughs) A really good team. Um, But we'll see how they do in the playoffs. Steelers versus Raiders in Vegas. I'm going to go with Hmm. Hmm. I haven't been relatively impressed with either team, to be honest with you. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm going to say big game for Devontae Adams. Nine confidence points. Big game for Devontae Adams. Philly, the Eagles going to Tampa to play the Buccaneers, who, believe it or not, the Buccaneers aren't a bad team. They're not, but the Eagles are just better. Let's be honest. The Eagles are just better. Eagles, I got three confidence points in the Eagles. Um, They've been good this season. They're a team that's dangerous. You got A.J. Brown, um, DeAndre Swift looking great last week. That doesn't even count Kenneth Gainwell coming back into things. It doesn't doesn't count Devontae Smith. Um, they have a good defense. Just a lot of guys on the defense that are really good. The Eagles are going to be a, a team that should be compete for a Super Bowl this year. I'm be honest. Rams against Bengals. I think that we are going to see a game we need to see. One confidence point because I can't trust what I've seen with the Bengals. I can't. I'm going with the Bengals. They need to figure it out. They need to figure it out quickly. They did a similar thing last year. The Bengals need to do it. Big, big chance here against a good Rams team. Give me the Bengals. 
Give me the Bengals. So that is our week three predictions. Thank you for watching. Let me know who you think is going to win, and I'll see you next time.